Thank you, Madam Speaker and colleagues. It is with anger and frustration and sadness that I rise to mourn the seven residents of Half Moon Bay that were senselessly murdered this past Monday afternoon. Less than 72 hours ago, I was standing with many of you on the steps of the Capitol, mourning the victims of the Monterey Park mass shooting. I'm embarrassed to admit it, but in the back of my mind, I was getting frustrated with myself as I could begin to feel that I was getting desensitized to these deplorable events. Not more than 10 minutes after I got back to my office, I got the message no one ever wants to receive. There's another mass shooting. We don't have a lot of details yet, but it's in one of your communities. Half Moon Bay is one of the most unique communities in my district. I know many of you have been there for functions, but you probably haven't had a lot of time to just stroll down Main Street and visit the many eclectic shops and cafes. Half Moon Bay is the closest thing the Bay Area has to small town America. It's 30 minutes south of San Francisco and 30 minutes west of Silicon Valley, but when you get there, you feel like you're in a different world. It truly is a coastal oasis of calm and tranquility from the fast-paced life all around it. On Monday afternoon, that tranquility was shattered by yet another mass murder. The gunman killing seven farm workers and injuring an eighth at two different farms before being apprehended by San Mateo County Sheriff's deputies. I want to thank the first responders and sheriff's deputies who responded to these horrific scenes. I spoke with a few of them on Tuesday, and I know they will be forever impacted by what they saw. I also want to thank the community organizations, the city of Half Moon Bay, and the county of San Mateo that immediately mobilized to provide care and comfort to the families that were impacted. Forty families have been displaced because the farm worker housing they lived in, which has been described as squalor by local officials, is now a crime scene. Some of them, including children, were present and witnessed the murders of their friends and family. They didn't have locks on their doors, and some of them had to resort to hiding in porta potties. These senseless and untimely deaths will not be in vain. They will lead to change. This shooting has shown a light on the deplorable living conditions and the stress and mental health challenges farm workers suffer under every day in California. They have also underscored, once again, the scourge of senseless gun violence that is ravaging our communities. While this morning is not the time for policy debate, that time is coming soon, and I am eager for it. I want to thank all of my colleagues who reached out to extend prayers and support. The residents of Half Moon Bay are strong. They are resilient. They've already been through a lot in the first few weeks of 2023, from flooding to power outages to a massive sinkhole on the main road into town, the community will get through this. But they shouldn't have to. No community should have to. I pray that none of you find yourself in the position that I am this morning. It is with deep sadness in my heart that I ask for a moment of silence to honor the lives that were lost, the family and friends that were impacted by the senseless mass shooting, and the beautiful Half Moon Bay community that will never be the same. Thank you, Mr. Berman. We ask that you all please rise as we observe a moment of silence for the victims of this tragedy.